It's another day in Minecraft, except something extraordinary is happening. The migration of the cows. One cow deviates from the rest and finds itself in a ruined city from the past. How unfortunate. Hey everyone, it's Wumba here, and today we're going to raid 100 ancient cities to try to get as much loot as possible. And the reason we're doing this is so that we can answer the question of just how much loot is in the average city. Well, here we are. So if we go through this portal, that's right, so in the last video we found an ancient city. Now, the problem is that if I make any sound, these shriekers will spawn a warden. Although using wool to walk on apparently doesn't make any sound. Oh, I just got an advancement. Wait, does that count as a sound? Okay, no, no, I think we're good. Let's just cover this thing up to prevent it from shrieking. Quickly, we're also gonna search this area for any other shriekers and try to break them. All right, so I should probably explain why we're here. So there's this absolute genius named El Mango. Anyways, he made this machine that makes it so no wardens can ever spawn. I'm hoping that if the machine works, we can loot all 100 ancient cities without any wardens attacking. To make this machine, we first need to place a row of wool here. Oh gosh, no. Okay, that's only the first shriek. I believe we get three strikes before a warden spawns. Now, I gotta clear five blocks out from the shrieker on each side. And then this deep slate needs to be removed seven blocks down, so... Then some more wool, and on top of this, we need carpet so that a warden doesn't just spawn up here. Piston, wool, hoppers, piston, redstone, and there's a redstone clock that moves every five seconds. Quickly, we also need to build a chunk loader here. And I'm waiting for this trap door to move. Great, it works. Now to run this machine, we need to shoot some arrows in here. And as soon as I place this sensor, it's gonna start running. Wait, 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 why is it getting darker in here? Why do I hear a warden, please? Maybe it's supposed to give you darkness. I am terrified of this, but I think it's working. I'm gonna stay shifting just in case. Okay, good, the darkness went away. That sound is not helping my anxiety. Oh, wow, yeah, I think we're good. Now, what's in this chest? Hey, not too shabby, some disc fragments, echo shards. Whoa, that diamond hoe has a lot of enchantments. Swift sneak and amethysts. Well, if this machine is working, I'm gonna loot the rest of this city. Wow, more swift sneak. Yeah, for now I kinda just wanna collect everything. Whoa, enchanted golden apple. Apparently these are pretty common in cities. Yo, two other side discs. I kinda wanna see what happens if we mine one of these reinforced deep slate blocks. Nothing. Oh, well then. Well, here we are. This is the loot from just one city. And before we leave for the other 99, I want to prepare a little bit. I'm pretty sure we'll be doing a lot of flying to find all of the cities. And I'd like to craft a bunch of fireworks. I believe that at our sugarcane farm... Yes, there is a lot of sugarcane being produced. Let's just collect three shulkers. And now at the storage, do we have any gunpowder? One stack of gunpowder and paper makes three stacks of fireworks. Now I'm just going to make a buttload of these. And there we are. A little over five shulkers worth should definitely be enough. I also want to grab a bunch of obsidian. That should be good. Let's also grab a flint and steel, a bow, and then some empty shulker boxes. Hopefully all of this should be enough to raid the 100 cities. Finally, I also want to repair my elytra at the XP farm. And goodness, that part is always stressful. Now to make sure we don't get attacked by mobs, we need to turn the mob switch on and then the warden switch. Now nothing should be able to spawn. Hold on, just checking. Are you subscribed? These videos take a ton of time and energy to create. And if you're enjoying watching, don't forget to click that button so you don't miss out on any future content. So let's just go really far out into the nether and make a portal. 
Oh, we're actually in a cave already. I'm pretty sure that deep darks only spawn under mountains, and we're in an ocean, so... Whoa! I did not expect to find one that quickly. Oh my gosh! Two in a single chest already? If you're wondering how I already have so many apples, I collected most of these from desert temples in the past. It's one of my personal goals for the world to eventually get 1,000 enchanted golden apples. And with them being so common now, I might actually be able to make that happen. Now, let's finish looting this city. I did not know that skeleton skulls could generate in here. Yeah, why not? Let's collect those too. And that's the second city done. I actually streamed the next couple of cities and got a ton of loot from them until the warden switch turned off randomly. Oh, looks like there's another chest there. W why did that shriek? That's not supposed to happen. Wait, maybe it's because I broke the chest. That's a warden, that's a warden. Leave, leave, leave. I've seen too many videos of people dying to the warden. Did the machine break? Like what happened? The warden wasn't supposed to spawn. Well, this side seems to be working. Oh, it's cause I logged out of the world and that unloaded the machine. Okay then, while we continue, I gotta remember not to leave the world so that doesn't happen again. So back to it then. Jeez, this city had six enchanted apples inside of it. And as the cities got checked off, I approached the first major milestone. Oh yes, that's the 64th apple. And now I have an entire stack. That is so beautiful. I also thought it'd be interesting to try and collect all of the diamond tools we find to see how many we can get by the end. So I've been looting cities for about five hours now and we just finished the 25th city. So yay. But I think it's time to play a little game cause I'm getting bored. I wanna see how many enchanted apples I can find in one hour. According to this website, these are all of the mountain biomes and under most of the mountains is a city. To maximize the amount of apples I get in one hour, we can simply fly to these mountains and then mine down and hope to get lucky. Timer starts in three, two, one. There's our first, second, yo, two in one chest. Oh, four? Someone please tell me the odds of that. Jeez. That's 30 minutes. That is beautiful landscape. I'm gonna just mark these coordinates in case I ever wanna build here. Five, four, three, two, one, and that's time. Can I please count that one? Well, anyways, in a single hour, we got 21, 22 if you count that last one, and that averages to one every three minutes. That is really fast. Just keep in mind, I'm only showing you the enchanted apples I find, but at the end of the video, you're gonna see all of the loot, assuming I survive, of course. Come on, be honest, did you think it was real for even one second? And that is the 50th city rated, exactly halfway. Ooh, look, it's a savannah village. Now, you may or may not know this, but sometimes inside of these chests, you can find tall grass. Yes, and these are special because this is the only way you can obtain this item. While we're exploring, let's just make sure to check these villages for the chests. The spruce villages are the same as well, except they have the tall fern item. Well, then I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll see you guys in a little bit. As I continued raiding cities, I streamed the whole process on the Discord server. If you'd like to come hang out and chat with me, there's a link in the description. Holy wow, this is a beautiful area. I gotta say, the Caves and Cliffs update has gotta be one of my favorites. When I wasn't getting distracted by the mountains, I also managed to watch two movies and listen to half of the Hobbit audiobook. That book is 11 hours long, so that's saying something. All of this city raiding really made me think to myself. These cities were supposed to be the most dangerous place in the world, but instead they're actually the safest. I wonder when Mojang is going to fix this method. Until then... That was easy. Yes, I really did buy a that was easy button just for this video. We only got 25 more cities to raid, and I think to keep myself interested, I'm gonna press that button every time I complete one. Then it's time to stop putting it off, and let's do this. That was easy. That's 80 done. That was easy. That was easy. 85 done. That 
was easy. 95 cities done. Ow. Okay, I just found eight enchanted golden apples in one city. That has got to be rare. Wow, that's really cool. I've never seen a woodland mansion inside of a mountain before. And this is the final city. Jeez, that's a lot of apples. No way, the final city, I just cut seven enchanted apples. That was easy. Oh, it feels good to be done. Now let's just head back and see all of the loot. Wait, I'm over 70,000 blocks from spawn. To get back, I'm gonna quickly make a nether portal. By using ladders and an ender pearl, we can glitch on top of the ceiling. And now because it's the nether, we actually need to crouch all the way back for 8,000 blocks. I'm kidding, that would take forever. Okay then, here we are. These are all of the shulker boxes full of loot from 100 ancient cities. Let's quickly sort everything out. First of all, the thing that everyone was wondering, I got over five and a half double chests of diamond hoes. That's roughly three diamond hoes per city on average. What am I gonna use all of these for? Next up, we have over three double chests of other side discs. Yeah, that's not obsessive at all. We also have over a double chest of amethyst shards, and then about 19 stacks of disc shards, and all of these swift sneak three books. This chest over here is the valuable one. So over three stacks of skeleton skulls, enchanted golden apples. Keep in mind that I originally had 37. So that means in all of the ancient cities, I found a total of 243 apples or roughly 2.4 per city. Finally, we also got all of these diamonds, plants and other things. That's really not bad at all. And saying it only took me about 20 hours, I'd call that a decent haul. Just before we put these catalysts into the storage, I want to try something. Okay, I'm so sorry, sheep, but nice. I still can't believe how many enchanted golden apples we have. What? What's that? 